this section, I am going to discuss how to find the domain of a function defined by an equation. Let us recall that the domain of a function f is the largest set of real numbers for which the value f of x is a real number. So we want to collect all possible x such that f of x is a real number. For example, suppose that f of x is equal to square root of x plus 1. Is 3 an element in the domain of f? From our definition, we just want to know if f of 3 exists. What is f of 3? f of 3 is equal to square root of 3 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So the answer here is yes, because f of 3 exists. What about 5? Is 5 an element in the domain of f? We just have to compute whether f of 5 is a real number. f of 5 is going to be square root of 5 plus 1, so that's square root of 6. Although it is not an integer, square root of 6 is still a real number. So the answer here is yes. What about negative 1? f of negative 1 is square root of negative 1 plus 1, which is equal to 0. Hence, it is a real number. The answer is yes. Is negative 5 an element in the domain of f? Let us compute f of negative 5. f of negative 5 is square root of negative 5 plus 1, which is square root of negative 4. But in this case, this is not a real number. Since f of negative 5 is not a real number, then the answer here is no. Negative 5 is not an element in the domain of f. Here are some tips in looking for the domain of a function defined by an equation. So first, if the equation has a denominator, we will exclude any numbers that give a zero denominator, right? Because if you have a denominator of zero, then that would mean that the image will not exist. Moreover, if the equation has a radical of even index, just like what we have seen in f of x equals square root of x plus 1, we have to set the radicand, the radicand is the expression inside your radical sign, to be greater than or equal to 0. Here, we have to set x plus 1 to be greater than or equal to 0. So hence, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. This is saying that only numbers which are greater than or equal to negative 1 would have a corresponding image. So for example, find the domain of this one. f of x equals x squared plus 5x. Take note that we can put any number for x. So therefore, the domain here is just a set of all real numbers. We don't have any restrictions. Remember that our restrictions would just be if you have denominators and if you have equations that are radical of even index. Next. 3x all over x squared minus 4. In this case, we have a denominator of x squared minus 4. So what do we need to do? We have to compute for the values wherein the denominator will be equal to 0. And it will be 0 when x is equal to plus or minus 2. So therefore, we have to take this away from the set of real numbers. It's the set of all real numbers. You read this as take away take away the set negative 2, 2. So this means that everything is permissible as inputs for f of x except that x cannot be equal to negative 2 and 2. What about this one? We have a radical of even index. So what do we do? We just set the expression inside the radical sign to be greater than or equal to 0. So we have negative 3t greater than or equal to 4. Divide both sides by negative 3. Since that is a negative number, the inequality sign flips. There you go. The only possible inputs are the numbers which are less than or equal to negative 4 thirds. In interval notation, we can write that as negative infinity, negative 4 thirds.
For our last example, we have a combination of a radical and a denominator. First, we have a radical sign here. Since we have square root of 3x plus 12, we have to set the radicand to be greater than or equal to 0. So let us solve for x. We get that x should be greater than or equal to negative 4. However, since we have a denominator of x minus 5, we have to take away the values for which x minus 5 is equal to 0. So it will be 0 when x is equal to 5. What do we do with these two sets? We now get the intersection. For the first set, we have x should be greater than or equal to negative 4. So that's this set. x is greater than or equal to negative 4. However, for number 2, x should not be equal to 5 because it will make your denominator 0. So we have to put a hole there. So that would be the domain. In interval notation, what is this? This is from negative 4 up to 5, but 5 is open. That's for this one. Union 5 up to infinity. You're just avoiding 5 because 5 is not included in the domain. 